Okay guys, I am back to record a little bit of a video. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but I think the last video, um, we just did the, um, uh, like finished up the cover and put in the signature. And so I brought along a couple of things and I am working on learning how to dye papers. So I thought, Originally, I was going to put some in the signature, but I decided not to, um, mostly because, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> Was that a good reason? <laughs> and then I brought along some coffee dyed and some avocado dyed um, doilies, and then, yeah, just a couple of these little papers here. So, yeah, that, I'm working on it. I'm getting it figured out, and I think they look pretty, but I've still got some work to do on them. Um, but I have seen before, and again, I don't remember who per se, but they made these really pretty little pockets out of toilies. So I was thinking maybe, and it's kind of, I think like an envelope type, maybe. And I've never made one like this. So, and I was wondering if it would be too delicate though. You know what I mean? So I thought we would make some of those and then we'll just kind of... Um, see what other kind of pockets we can make out of the other papers we have. I think that's pretty much all you do. Because um, maybe glue it here. We'll try it, right? It doesn't hurt to try. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Things are going okay here. Um, no worries so far. So we'll see. Life changes day by day, doesn't it? Nope. I desperately need to clean this mat too. And I need to get you guys some of those um, TCTC challenges going. Okay, so I think I'll do one of that color and maybe one of these. And then maybe we will um oh, i'm off a little bit on that oh, i'm still off a little bit hmm. let me bring that in a little a little better. Yep, that looks a little better. Okay. I bet you can hear Grace's music, huh? The girl's singing again. Okay, now that we have those, shall we see what we have to decorate with? Maybe we'll find something cute to go on it and from one of the... Um, oh, and I did, I think since the last time I was with you guys, I did go ahead and cut these out. And I was thinking maybe we could give the pocket some stability by using some of those. Those look nice, huh? I like these too. Let's see what those look like on there. Uh, maybe a little too tall. All right, so, and then there's these. Oh, that's got the Eiffel Tower on it. I mean, we could do, I think I'm gonna go with the first one. Oh, wait, there's birds. I think I kind of like the birds. What do you think? That's pretty. Okay, now should we try a little bit of lace maybe? Let's see what we have. I'm getting kind of low on laces. I need to do some shopping, but most of you know how much I just love to shop, which is like not at all. I mean, like I like it, but I, I don't know. I have the toughest time.
like spending money. I know, ridiculous, right? Did the, I think this had some words in it. Maybe we can find a cute little word. Oh, right, right. We have these little guys here, the acetate words. That is not a word. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, what else can we find? Sorry about my arm. I have the most of most obnoxious. Um, I don't know if I like that one. Most obnoxious orange t-shirt on today. Um, I haven't actually really changed since my work workout earlier, so. Yeah, I, I'm in line. Next in line for the shower, so. Yeah, I started a workout program, and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know um, if I like it. Um, so far, I mean, day one is good. <laughs> I've been slowly kind of working out over the last few months, just like doing some planking and stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm trying that V Shred program. We'll see. I mean... He's cute, so there's that. <laughs> that does actually make the workout go a little smoother <laughs> when you have something cute to look at, right? I am so bad, aren't I? Oh, that's kind of cute. But I think it's a little big. I think maybe we'll go with what we have, and I hope that our glitter glue sticks to acetate. If it doesn't, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's let's get this down first. I don't actually think I'm going to do a whole lot of inking on these. For some reason, I'm liking the contrast these days. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? It's supposed to dry clear, so let's see if it does. All right, so far so good. All right, I'm gonna set this one aside. Maybe, did I, oh, I glued it to my mat. That's ridiculous. There we go, okay. All right, so far so good. So we'll set that aside for a second and then we will get this one's little, yeah, I just think that's pretty. And then, you know what we might do? I might throw some of that gold liquid pearls in there. And you know, it'll be really pretty too. And I'll have to pause the video and go grab it. Is um, some envelopes. I have to go get them though. Because I would like them either uh, tea or um, tea or avocado. Let's finish up. Do we think it would work on there? And if so, where would we put them? Maybe we'll put them down here at the bottom. Okay, and maybe one up here, or one up here. Okay, I think I like it. Though I wish they were a little more even, but not too bad. So there's one pocket, we'll set that one out of the way.
And now let's go ahead and put some gold on this one. I'll sneak it down here. That one over there. And then on this one, we'll go ahead and do it again. Like so. Okay. All right, so that's two done. Now let me pause the video. I'll go grab those other envelopes really quick and we will do something else. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I grabbed was um, some of my permanent ink, a couple of envelopes, and it's been a hot minute since I made this particular one, but it's going to be very similar to the ones we've made before. So I'm just going to seal my envelope, and then I'm going to take my trimmer and cut it right in half. Um don't remember exactly how it's made so we're just going to kind of muddle through so this one is six and six and a half oh let's just say six and a half so that would be three and th a quarter right yeah so we're going to chop one in half okay i'm going to end up making i guess one of this one and then um i could probably do two of this one I brought several um, envelopes over, or maybe we just won't. We'll just work with it, right? So we decided three and a quarter. Okay. Okay, and then those can go with that one. We'll seal this one up. And I think... What I've done before is we're doing like a stacker one, right? But I think I will use decorative scissors to trim off that one. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna grab my scalp. Um, well, maybe scalloped ones. Go. And these are old, old. I think they were probably like a Walmart special years ago. So I'm going to cut this top piece off. Like so. Hmm. It's off a little bit, right? Because it always is. And Dee Dee's cutting, right? Okay, that's better. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Ink the top so I know what I'm doing here. I mean, not that inking is really going to help me know what I'm doing. I'm just teasing. But... And I have found that once the envelopes are um, dyed, sometimes it loses its sticky in the process. So, okay, now we're going to do what we've done before. We're going to take the open edge. I'm going to go ahead and seal that a little bit better so we don't fight it later. Okay. I'm going to take this front piece, actually I'm going to bend it in half first so I know roughly where the middle is. We're going to make our little cut that we usually, or that we've been making a few times lately, there. And then we're going to fold it down, like so. I'm going to leave it a, more, a little more open than I usually do. Um, I usually don't um, make it fan out that way it's usually more like together like that um, <clears throat> but
Okay, now we're gonna take this one and put it on. So it's it's very similar to just like a stacker pocket. Like so. Okay, and I've gotta get out another sheet of paper here to stamp on. Okay, um, I think, I think I'm gonna grab some washi tape really quick and tape that stamp off. so I don't like overdo it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in the corner. Okay. Oh, nuts. Note to self, take off the ink, right? That's all right, that's all right. I'll just keep going. You guys will at least get the gist and maybe there's something we can do to change the tra trajectory of that, okay? Yeah, that part looks really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything about that one, but then. Here. Okay. Okay. I'm really bummed about that because I love everything else. So maybe we put something decorative over, over that to kind of cover that in there. Okay. Very rarely can we not turn an oops into something pretty, right? It's all shades of, of trying. Something different, right? See what we have to decorate. That might no too big, too big. That one might look okay. So I'm wondering. We've got a little bit of lace or we could do this get it girl not liking that one so much nope kind of covers up the other part nope usually it's the first one you try right that's the one we like the most Butterflies, not quite big enough. Okay, it is, isn't it? Usually the first one you try is usually, usually is the one. Okay, so that covers a little bit of it. Let's see if we've got some laces of some sort or some fabric we might layer it up with. <clears throat> Too bulky. There's 
some of that that I used in the Christmas journal. I've got scraps running everywhere, but I don't think that we want silver. If I had it in gold, now that would be a different story. About some of this little vintage lace. Yeah, okay. Okay, that kind of covers it all, and I can kind of actually bring it in just a little bit. Hmm. I still kind of like it offset. I am going to go with it. I kind of like it offset because then I can add a little more bulk and tags over on that end. Maybe I'll wait till the very end to put something in there because I think we're going to put some of the kids stuff in there for now. Some smaller ones. Lots of smaller ones. And then maybe we'll add some little tiny tags in that front pocket to really kind of boost it up. Okay. Feels a little naked, doesn't it? I think there was like some little tiny, tiny bits. Little tiny roses maybe. Not it. There's a little tiny bird somewhere in there. Oh, there's glitter ones. That's not really what we're going for, is it? Well, for now, I'm going to leave it. And then we are going to do... One, two, three, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, so that is the other one, and again, once we get making some more tags we'll stick some other little tags in there to kind of fill that front pocket up a little bit so there's that one okay let's make the pink one now i don't know why i just capped that glue i'm gonna need it here in a minute anyways
couldn't make it through an entire video without her barking, huh? <laughs> she is a silly little girl. Hopefully her little fit won't last too long. The deer have been like crazy in our area lately and it's just driving the dogs nutty. <clears throat> Glue's coming off and in ink marks. Or the, what I was trying to say is the glue is on my fingers and it's coming off with the ink that's on my fingers. That's pretty funny, huh? Pretty hysterical. There's been times where like I've worked really late into the craft room and like I'm so tired when I head to bed that I forget to wash my hands and I wake up in the morning and there's like glue everywhere. <laughs> okay let's try this again and see if we can get it and why me or we I say I mean me but um Without any of that extra ink on there. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Up until the point where I glue the envelope down, right? Okay, and I do kind of like how it fans out a little bit. Okay, now we could actually put one of our ephemera pieces. That's bigger than I want. Big. <laughs> there are so many cool ones to use. I don't know which one. What a simple little one like that. Okay. What about this other little piece here? Layering it with that. Just behind there. Just give it a little. And then we can fill it in. It's kind of the point of this particular journal, isn't it? Like just whatever seems to flow. At least that's what I was thinking. Put one of these lovelies in. Let's get one with a little 
little more green in it. Okay, and we need a big one for the back. We put in one of the other little smaller cards. That one. Okay. Something little for that one. some of that green out and then like the one before we can add little um like uh tags that we make from the extra paper in there okay let's finish let me glue that down a little bit more Sorry, I gotta pull it up close to my face here so I can get it. We did get one of our cats fixed today. She's like hanging out by the heater back here. That's like her favorite place in the world to hang out. Um, she's gonna be really bummed when we kind of turn that heater off. I'm getting close to being able to. We're gonna get two on that one. One, two. You know what I think, and I don't think I did it on the other one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull that other one back over and I'll put the these up at the very top. I don't think I did that with the last one. We did not. Let's Okay. All right. So I think we'll wrap it up for this video. And then in the next one, I think I'm going to make some envelopes out of those other um, papers that I had brought along that I kind of squirreled out on you with. So there is, you know what, we could probably, while we're at it, let me see, make sure you guys can see all that. Okay. I'm going to move these and we'll put that other pocket over here. Isn't that wild how that gold is like literally picking up the pink so it almost looks like um like a rose gold? That's pretty wild. Okay, so we could actually probably find something that fits in these little pockets. I bet these are too big. Yeah, a little bit too big. Oops, dang it. Too much, too soon. They were quite set. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. I will call it a video at this one, and then I will be back to, we'll make some of those envelopes with those other papers that I brought along. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.